The purpose of this tutorial is to give a full work through for what's expected um, for Unit 5 um, Augmented Reality Task for the um, Cambridge Technicals. I've um, done some other tutorials but hopefully this one will give um, a good walk through and it'll show you some of the other example tools that you can look at as you're going along. So I've used um, Thingiverse to download uh, a range of uh, statues and things and these are going to be quite large so you've got a couple of options when it comes to scaling them. I've decided I'm going to use Cura because I use that for 3D printing. I've got my object and I'm just going to go to scale and then I can scale it down. Oops, let's just do that again. There we go. And then I can choose to export that out as a STL file which is supported by um, OpenSpace. Of course you can actually just scale it in OpenSpace um, which I'll look at in a second as well. Okay, so let's do our first one. Let's add a new dummy. Let's call this dummy um, Italy. Let's import our statue. So it's going to be important, it's going to be quite large. Let's pop Michelangelo inside there. Okay, let's just zoom out so you can see she's a tad on the large side. So what we need to do is we're going to need to rotate him round, stand him up. And we're going to want to scale him down. So in this program, scaling is done through scale. Hold the shift key, alt key down. Scale him down and zoom in. Okay, let's have a look at this size. At the moment it's 60 centimeters. I think probably want to be a bit smaller than that. Twenty centimeters, Z height seventy centimeters, maybe a little bit smaller again. Let's get the information now. Sixty centimeters high. Let's see how that goes for starts. I'll just zoom in. Okay, so there's my picture of my statue of Michelangelo. Michelangelo is David. So let's add our tag. So. Open up your scene, add the AR capture, add the first marker. Give this a name so you can spot it later. So let's call this um, Italy to match. Let's choose a picture from a magazine. Now I've got these are scanned out of a um, Travel brochure, the idea being you hold your camera over the travel brochure and something will appear. So I'll open that. And within my travel brochure, that picture is going to be about 10, 11, 12 centimetres. So let's choose the object. Click on the AR. There we go, enabled, press OK. Now let's have a look scale purposes you can see it's quite a bit different so let's scale him down a bit more now it's going to be bigger but we do okay we do want it to sit on the actual image itself there we go now I think what I'll do is I'll move him forward a little bit Let's get the angle right so it sits in front of the image. There's the image, and there's Michelangelo 
with David, so that looks okay to me. So I'll press OK there. Now what we need to do is set up this first one, and then we can test that it first one works. So let's start with our hide inst object hide hide on start dummy and then let's do found show lost And then we can check this, so we'll test it. So launch in the player. So it's saved. We'll wait for it to load up. Okay, so let's have a look. And then there we can see on our catalogue and we can add some sound to that shortly. So let's have a look at adding the other markers. Okay so as you can see I've added the next one, there's the marker. So I've now got the two, still the capture. I've renamed the hide instance Italy to stop mixing it up and this is the uh, Paris one so I'll rename this as the marker for Paris. Again, look, I've just set it to 15 centimetres um, as before, and then we've got the usual hide show set up here. So let's test that, make sure they both work, and then we'll add the third. Sour. And then if we flip back to the previous page, and there's our David. And then back again. So everything's working so far. Okay, so as you can see, I've now got my third one in. So I've got this temple from uh, Moscow, Kremlin. Wherever it is, yep, Kremlin. And then let's test that works. You can see I've set it up down the bottom exactly as before. Just waiting for that. We go through and test each one. that one that one and that one and there we go they're all functioning so let's see what else we can add to this Okay, so the next feature I'd like to add to this is a uh, simple menu. So I'm going to get my interface and menu. So I'll see what I'm doing. I'm going to add two items to my menu. I'm going to add a 3D add and 2D Okay, so let's just look what it's done. So if you run it, you should see 2D and 3D appear in the corner. Okay, haven't done anything with these buttons yet, no setting changes, so let's do that. 
let's just quickly go into it first and sort out that lowercase letter. There we go. That's better. I haven't made any changes to any of the settings or any of the colours, it's just exactly as it is. You can use picture buttons if you wish, but I'm just going to keep everything as it is. Okay, so I'm now going to add rendering stereo. And from the stereo option, there's lots of options. This is where Google Cardboard sits if you want to do Google Cardboard. But in our case, we're going to use the Anaglyph Red Cyan. We're not going to turn it on to start off with, so, and we will say that our menu was 3D was option 1, 2D was option 2, so menu 1, we'll enable it, menu 2, we'll disable it. So let's just test that. So that's our Eiffel Tower. If I choose 3D, if I get my 3D version of the Eiffel Tower, which you'll be able to see using your red and blue glasses, 2D flicks it back. So nice, simple menu there. Okay, now I'm going to add a keyboard override for that 2D and 3D, so you can see how a keyboard is used. So I shall add um, as an input, I'm looking for keyboard, and then on our keyboard, I'll use a QWERTY keyboard, and I'm going to use um, the let's say one. I'm a, we'll say keyboard instance and call this uh, 3D, and we'll add another one. Keyboard. We'll use key number two. Obviously, I've got all of the other keys down here the letters, the numbers, everything I want to use from my QWERTY keyboard. Okay, but I'll use key number two. And we'll call this 2D. And then the same as before, so key uh, down. Enable the stereo, key down, disable the stereo. So let's test that. So there's still our menu 3D, 2D, that still works. And if I do one, two, that works. Okay, everything overrides each other. That's all working fine. Okay, let's try and make things a little bit more interesting, a little bit more artistic. So I'm going to add some shadow. Um, I'll just do it on the Paris one, but you can apply it to all of them. So first of all, I'm going to go to my Paris. I'm going to do what? I'm going to import a scene. And then we're going to import from assets. We're going to go to primitives. And we're going to import a plain mesh. it's over here so I'm going to move it to my Eiffel Tower I'm going to scale it so it's a bit more size around the area that I want so let's go something like that that's okay right, so next job let's make sure that is inside Paris there we go so our next job is to add the um, material. <coughs> so we do that through Agri 
resources. There we go, resources gone, add resources to scene. Let's go to is it materials, so assets, materials, oh it's the shadow. So I've got the shadow there. And then what I need to do is to tell it the shadow is going to be used. So our first thing to do is edit the materials in here and use the shadow. And the second thing to do is to choose the shadow method. So I've right clicked, set shadow method, and we're going to use this one here. Okay, that looks all right. I can adjust that if I want, so let's just, uh, let's just double that up. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Hopefully there'll be a shadow on the Eiffel Tower. The next interactive feature I'd like to add is um, a rotation. So we're going to modify our menu. And as you can see, I've got, I've added the option uh, rotate. I've added Paris. So I'm also going to add Italy. And I'm going to add Russia. So I've got my three um, objects in here for my rotation in a second. So I'm going to add object rotate. I'm going to call this rotate Paris. Another one object rotate uh, Russia and object uh, rotate uh, Italy. Okay, so if we set some of these up, I didn't do it at the time, so this is going to be the Eiffel Tower. So I've got that in there. On the Y axis, I'm going to rotate it by um, 0.5 degrees at a time. I'm going to do the same with Russia. So that will be cathedral. Y axis 0.5 degrees at a time. And the same for Italy. So this will be David and again. Uh, I'll just add in minus 0.5, I'll see it rotates the other way. So now we have our menu. So menu 3, 1, that's going to be our Paris 1, I think that's the order I did it in, let's double check. So we've got Paris, Italy, Russia. Paris, let's get these right around, just so it makes it easy to see, Paris, Italy, Russia. So, play. Play, play, and then what I'll also do, let's see what's going on, is I'll have the main menu, menu three, stopping everything. So I'll stop that one, stop that one, and stop that one. So what should happen is we click on the menu three, it will stop them, choose any of the options and it will play them. So let's test that out. Just test it on the one. Okay, so there's Paris. 
rotate and it's not rotating. So let's try and work out what we've done wrong. Okay, so if we look in here for the Paris one, I did pitch by mistake, so let's delete that and then do Paris first. So this time it should be play. Let's just double check they're all set. Play on that one. So let's just test that again. Fingers crossed. There's the Eiffel Tower. Paris and Paris is rotating. Click on the rotate button again and it will stop. See if I was on one of the other ones, I could do that one as well. So let's just double check. Let's find another one. So we've got Moscow. And then we've got that one. Rotating as well. The final feature I'm going to add um, that you can include is uh, some sound. So as the item is selected, we can play a sound in the background. So I'm going to start off by adding a media object. I'm just going to do a normal sound object. I'm going to call this one sound for um, Italy. I'm going to choose a sound file. These have to be um, MP3s or WAP files. So there's my Italian one. I'm not going to play it on start. I'll do the same for media sound Paris. And one more for Moscow. I don't think I added the Paris one. No. no. Paris. Okay, so now what I've got to do is get it to actually play it on the um, on the marker. So Italy. When we've found it, we will play. Uh, where's Paris? When we found it, we will play and Moscow. When we found it, we will play. Okay, so let's see how this works. Let's test it. And what we should also do is remember that when it we want it to stop playing when it drops off, so 
if I go back to Italy and do a most and a stop back to Moscow most stop and Paris most stop okay let's just try that again Now let's do the next one. Check why that's not working. Go and look at the Paris marker. Should fly. Do the sound path. So let's add that. Apply it. And do a final test. Today's special offer uses the recycled of Paris by post for three hundred pounds or fly for six hundred pounds per person. Today's special offer uses the recycled of Paris by post for three hundred pounds or fly for six hundred pounds per person. And there we go. All finished. So the last thing we'll look at is when it comes to actually exporting it. So we've looked at exporting in the past, so a simple click the export and we can choose to export as an Android application which we've gone through several times. Now obviously this is for your phones, um, it can also be exported as a Windows application which is what um, I'll be doing with my sixth form class, so we can make sure it's ready for moderation. So if we click on OK, doesn't really matter whichever version of Windows you're running. Um, I was using OpenGL. Export it. That will create a package that can be copied to um, a USB drive or whatever it was for the moderator with a file to click on. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, have a look at the other open space tutorials for the individual components, adding tags, adding videos. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask or ask me in class.